Welcome to this week's edition of Car Stars and Roll Bars. I'm Mike Kenny, your host. Each week, we tap into the all this cool stuff to do with car culture. We talk about the cars, the shows, SEMA show, the list goes on, and celebrities. When we talk about celebrities, well, unless you live under a rock, you're probably going to recognize the gentleman to my immediate right. That is the one, that, the only Kenny Youngblood, bloody, blood did it. Lots of the accolades for this young man, incredible talent. Before we sit down and talk with him, I want to kind of share with you what a few other people think about his abilities, and you might recognize a few of the names. Hey, Rick, go ahead and grab that video for us, brother. <laughs> Youngblood is an automotive icon. He's over there now with a line a mile long. People just wanted to get to know him. We are thrilled to have him represent our products. He's one of the best artists around. You don't come any better than Ken. Awesome pieces of art unfold kind of in front of you. Simply amazing. Well, actually, I was just walking, walking by and I saw his artwork and that's what kind of intrigued me. And I see this name tag, Kenny Youngblood. That's him. <laughs> and I met him and he was so graceful and so inspiring just to talk to him. I, I mean, I, I can't say enough about Kenny. Kenny's just been a wonderful uh, addition to our art exhibit. He is one of my, my heroes, my idols. What more do we need to say about Kenny Youngblood but uh, uh, the artiste? They're led by 17, actually. So the guests will get to pick what you want the truck, the dune buggy or the, or the gas are here. And we take, we add their name and we color them in. And I put whatever personal, make it as personal as, uh, as I can. You would think that uh, so often that, that, that I've given somebody a million dollar bill. I mean, they're like so thrilled to, uh, to get this. And if you're anything like me, you're going, wow, yeah. <laughs> this young man's been around a long time. He, I have the, had the pleasure of knowing Kenny Youngblood. I think we got a thumbnail we pull up with, with his great headshot on there. He is a truly an arc, iconic motorsports artist. We're going to learn a, a lot about him. And as, we have some examples of his art as well. So, so <laughs> And this is so cool because we actually have... Kenny Youngbud in studio with us today. So, Kenny, I can't thank you enough for being here, man. We we go back a ways, brother. Yeah, a long time, Mike. I'm just so thrilled to be here. It's uh, what an honor to, to be on the show. Well, I, it's great having you here. We've been working this for a couple of months between SEMA and NHRA, and your schedule gets really wonky. But let's just dive into the yeah. deep end of the pool. Like you, I'm looking, you started this like about the 1960s. So I figure it's apropos that we talk about the early days. And for our viewers, we're talking early days. Well, we got some pictures coming up that I think you're really going to get a kick out of. And I think we have one with you. And there it is. I think you're yeah. in a go-kart, yeah. right? <laughs> you can see my parents' 55 Chevy in the garage back there. In the garage. And we have a couple more from the early days. Which was brand new, by the way. Brand new. <laughs> now, that, is that injection you got sitting on top of that early Hemi? Yeah, something? that's an A-Fuel injected uh, nitro uh, Chrysler. That was my first dragster that myself and my partner Fred Smith there on the left built and raced for a couple of years. Very, very cool. And I think we have a couple more examples. And I love this shot because this is kind of how it was back in the days. You didn't have some of these fancy lifts. You got a body sitting on some, looks like 55-gallon drums, yeah. right? Yeah. And, it's just, and you're just out there getting it. 
Well, I, I must say that the photographer had us drag all the bodies out of the parking <laughs> lot. We did really work in the parking lot. But uh, that, that was, was Camelot, I call it, wow. down there oh, at Don yeah. Kirby's. It was during what I call the great funny car boom oh, of yes. the 70s. There yeah. was hundreds of them, and, and we were the place to get your car uh, painted and lettered back then. And uh, we didn't know how much fun we were having. <laughs> That is very, very. Now, we were talking earlier, and if my eyes don't deceive me, Mr. Young, young Blood, I believe that's a Dodge Daytona that you're striking. Yeah, that sure is. That's Big Willie's car. Was that car. Big Willie's car? Oh, yeah. Wow. Really? Uh, yeah. And for the viewers, Rick, go ahead and pull us back up together. Big Willie was a legend back in the day, and he really, I think, was foundational in Southern California as far as drag racing, getting more people interested in it. He got recognition from the mayor, and that was his Daytona. Yeah, he raced that, him and his gal, Tomiko, and they uh, also uh, got a drag strip uh, put in down there on Terminal right, Island right. And, and got the kids off the street and uh, really just was a, a heck of a guy and uh, was great for the community. Because well, back in the day, you truly, you were, you, were, you were a driver yourself. You had your digger, right? And, just, right? and so then you start doing a little bit of lettering on your car, and you start doing lettering on other cars. So said, so, okay, you know, he's done some lettering, he's done some graphics on the funny cars. And also back in the day for the viewers, if Pinzo Oil was your sponsor, you wanted to have that Pinzo can of oil on the side of your car. Well, back then, you had to paint them on by hand. I think, Kenny, you call that BC before BC. computers? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Everything was hand-painted back then. So it was hand-painted. It's a, it's a totally different approach. However, we're not done. Because as amazing as his lettering is, and don't get me wrong, it's phenomenal what he can do on race cars, we got some examples of some of the graphics he's done. And there's a couple names you might recognize when we start talking about those as well. So here's an example. That's not True headlights, that is graphics you did, right, buddy? Yeah, it's airbrushed on there. That was flat as a board up there. It's a fiberglass front end um, wow. that we did and uh, to create the illusion yeah, cause, of a girl in headlights. That was my specialty back in the day. Well, yeah, because it's got all the depth, and you swear you, know, you can see the headlights when they turn on, then you got the depth for the grill and the mesh. Yeah, that's when I, I pulled that one up because Mary was walking by her office, and she went, oh, my, yeah, it's just. Yeah, you, you think it's the real deal, and I think we got a few more we can kind of. So, some of these graphics become iconic, and we're going to be talking about those in a bit as well. So, just the way that all laid out, and the way you got the Miller kind of lean back a little bit on the sides, that was right. all intentional, right, buddy? Oh yeah, and of course, um, this car, uh, Danny, oh, that one Indy, he spun the thing out on the last lap. <laughs> and didn't hit the wall and went on to win the race. Oh, jeez. And um, we did the graphics on, on that wow. car, which it was voted best appearing car. I didn't even know they had best appearing car at Indy, but you, maybe you, they did you, then. You got them, just, man. Just for I that race. It. But, uh, yeah, we really uh, enjoyed doing the, the graphic designs. And I'd sit at the drawing board and uh, had clients all over the country and other parts of the world. And we'd, you bet. we'd do up uh, designs and send them to So them. before we move off this one, i got to ask just – What's the inspiration? How do you figure out, for in this case, this IndyCar, here is, here is the ideal way to do the graphics? Just Yeah. Well, it's a process. Um, okay. You know, sometimes I'll have an image in my mind just okay. right off the bat, and it's just a matter of putting it down on the paper. And, right. And sometimes it's, a, you know, you build it piece by piece. On a car like this, uh, with a corporate sponsor like Miller, uh, you mm -hmm. don't want it to be too... Um, outlandish, you don't want That's to distract right. from the corporate sponsor. So we want to keep it pretty clean uh, as opposed to somebody who just wants their car to look pretty. Excellent. I think we got a couple more examples. I dig this. Uh -huh. I, it's got flames, it's got pinstriping, it's got nitro. I mean, that's just about what is that? Because well, I, I really need was, that. Uh, I need that on my wall uh, or something. Yeah, you know? <laughs> this was a sketch for uh, a motion picture that didn't get made, but uh, Dean wow. George Papadeus, the, the director producer, yeah. is still working on getting Nitro Warriors made. And this was going to be the uh, artwork for the oh, movie really? poster. Wow, yeah. I'm digging it, man. That's just to me. That's it. That's cool. That all. I'm kind of speechless. Uh -huh. I get around young, but I get kind of speechless through this art is breathtaking. Uh, I think we have one more. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Unless you have lived under a rock, you might recognize this 34 coup from ZZ Top, the Eliminator. 
and that tell us a little bit about the ZZ design because I think that kind of took a life on a life of its own as well. Well, right, there's, there's a backstory there. Well, uh, good. Uh, Let's this, hear that. The, this was done for the Eliminator album, of course, which really put them over the top. Before that, I mean, uh, I had heard of them, but I actually yeah. thought they were a country western band <laughs> at the time. I, and uh, Don Thielen, that built the car, contacted me, and he said that they, Billy wanted me to design the graphics for it. And so um, I did, oh, geez, a whole bunch of designs and, cool. and, and mailed them over to him. And, and I hadn't met Billy yet in person, but he called right. me on the phone. And uh, he put this in his, his autobiography. I actually forgot about it. But he, <laughs> he said, Kenny, I, I like uh, design number 12 or whatever it was. And he says, just one problem. He says, on the, pass on the driver's side of the car, the Zs are going the right way. And on the passenger side, they're backwards. And I apparently told him, well, when you drive down the street and you look in the store windows, it'll be going the right way. <laughs> and uh, anyway, that's the way they painted the car. But Very, very cool. And then, of course, Billy, Billy's uh, he's uh, just a motorhead, and uh, yeah. you just never know where he'll show up. And we were running a fuel funny car uh, back then and out at Pomona, and uh, this gentleman comes into our pit with a long beard, and I didn't know who it was. And one of the fans <laughs> says, hey, you know who that is? It's, Billy Gibbons. Oh, and that's when I met Billy, and, oh, and we hit it off, and uh, he's been kind enough to have us at his shows and things. And yeah, so You go back away with Billy. Back away yeah, that was, there. you know, when they did that Eliminator album, which it's been a while. Seventies. Before and we got more pictures coming up, so just yeah, hang on, and we got some amazing examples of art as well. I always like to ask my guests about mid-show. <laughs> so what is your favorite automotive memory? Well, I saw that on the notes here, and I, I would have to say yes, sir. that um, sliding down into a slingshot fuel dragster <laughs> does it for me. There's nothing like <laughs> slipping down into that slingshot dragster with your legs up over the rear end and strapping in and then being push-started uh, well, back in, in the day, in right? fuel yeah. car. So, yeah, yeah that's, that would <laughs> top it for me. Yeah, so the viewers, literally, your legs are kind of going over the third member, that were, the rear end, the rear tires going, and this right in front of you is that big, nasty Hemi motor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Back in the day, right? Yeah. <laughs> so before we move on, I think I know the answer to this one. So what's your favorite car that's not a slingshot dragster that you could drive on the street? Well, what do you think? I think it might have something to do with it with the Riviera. No, actually. No? The Riviera's a nice piece, but I yeah. had uh, back in the... In the uh, 70s, I had a uh, 1957 Pontiac Safari wagon. And, uh, okay, 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 okay. Just for the, out of all this plethora, yeah, that's my new word for the day, viewers, of horrible selection of cars you've been around and you like a station wagon? Well, I'm a cruiser well, at heart, true. and of course the <laughs> the safaris were like a nomad, but the Pontiac oh, and the good. 57s okay. were just beautiful. And um, I customized it, painted it black, and slammed nice. it on the ground, and uh, it was a, a nice ride. It's that one that I let uh, let get away. I shouldn't have. There's always one of those in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, viewers, we appreciate all your patience. We're going to shift gears yet once again just to give you an example of Kenny's career. And before we go there, we're gonna. I got to do a few of these because Kenny won't do it as far as accolades. Got to look at all my notes. There's a bunch of them. Inter International Drag Racing Hall of Fame, Hot Rod Magazine, you might have heard of them, 100 Most inf Influential People, Daryl Starbird, Amazing Promoter, Designer Hall of Fame, 66 Rendezvous Hall of Fame, New Eng England Drag Racing Hall of Fame. I think I see a trend, brother. <laughs> well, that, that is amazing. I've got to add, Mike, that as wonderful as it is to be recognized oh, by sure. your peers, the highest compliment that I can get is when somebody comes up to me that I've never met before in my life sure. and tells me that I was the reason that they got involved wow. in artwork or painting or whatever. Yeah. When you can inspire someone, uh, that's priceless. That's priceless. Now, you talk about King of Segway, talking about being inspired. Check out this art. I think that is Clay Milliken, right? Yeah, that's uh, car owner Doug Stringer on the right, right and driver Clay Milliken. And, and for uh, the viewers, is, hate to interrupt, but i got a reminder, babe. These are not 
pictures. These are original oils that Kenny just creates with this amazing ability of his. Let's see what else we got coming up here. We got something. Wow. There we go. This a different kind of piece here. This was done for a, a magazine cover and uh, featuring uh, they wanted the Blue Angels on there. Yeah. And uh, we put Gary Densham's uh, Fuel <laughs> Funny car in there as well. So this was actually made into a wall mural at uh, uh, UTT Technical uh, Institute out there in Cucum, Rancho Cucamonga. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. That, that is a beautiful piece. A little uh, different there. I love the background colors. I you got the Blue Angels in it. Uh, <laughs> I think we got a few more. <laughs> Are pretty well, hell out. <laughs> yeah, this is just a commission piece uh, for a client and um, came out. Yeah, beautiful car. Yes. And so I wanted to kind of capture the nasty, I call it Night Rider. Night Rider. Kind of a sinister looking piece. Yeah, and the way you did the backlighting and then the headlights are illuminated, but you still didn't look. Didn't let the lighting overpower the flames. Just nice, nicely done, yeah, buddy. Thank you. I like your I like your choice of uh, pictures yeah. here. Yeah, so my viewers, Kenny sends me like a hundred of these and says, so, okay, pick a few. And I'm going, yeah, right. That wasn't the world's <laughs> easiest job. All right. Now, this is, I believe, is this Beyond 300? Yeah, this yeah. is pretty much my my signature piece. Yes. And um represents uh, when Kenny Bernstein, Bernstein. wrote the 300 mile an hour yep. barrier. Uh, we did this piece to to commemorate that. Yeah. So Rick, if you can pull us back and stop and you're sitting in the studio just real quick. I had the pleasure of being at your home numerous times in Big Bear, now you live in the Las Vegas right. Valley, and you had the original Beyond 300 there, and was it five feet tall? It was a pretty large piece. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> it's and and it's now in the collection of Chip Foos. Oh, really? Because yeah. I know there's a lot, a lot of it. Chip wanted that for a long time. Yeah, he did. It's kind of a funny <laughs> story because this was before his TV fame. He was yeah. working for Boyd Cotting and right. whatnot. And he, he, he wanted the painting. And I didn't really want to sell it. Nope. So I put a, a high price tag on it. And he says, oh, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. And so he would make payments <laughs> to me on that. And uh, Terry, my wife, Terry, said that, you know, when she finally gave her the last payment, she delivered the painting. And she felt like a drug dealer was <laughs> <laughs> Making a deal in the parking lot there at Pomona Drags. But. So, so you, you know, so you had Chip Foost on the installment plan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I think we got a few more. I think the last painting. I have a story to share. As a matter of fact, here we are. So, the, talk, let's talk a little bit about the painting, and then I'm going to do a little sure. backstory. Go ahead. Well, this Kenny. was commissioned by the NHRA uh, as a gift to Kenny Bernstein when he retired from driving, and so. Um, it was a collage uh, showing his uh, 300 mile an hour run up at the top, and then a headshot of him, the car, and then the Batmobile funny car, which also was a trendsetter. Now, the the backstory on this, and an unknown fact, is yes, sir. down in the right hand corner where you see the uh, the Budweiser logo. I was actually going to put. I had a, a great shot of, of Kenny and his gal Cheryl at the mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. and there was a deadline on this piece, and so I was painting that in there, and and uh, she was in a low cut dress, and I got that part in there real good, and I was working <laughs> on her face, and I just couldn't. She's a very beautiful uh, woman. I just couldn't quite get her look and look like her ugly sister, so. <laughs> and I didn't want to do that. Well, no. So ultimately, I. I I says, heck with it, we'll just put the logo in there. So I paint it, paint over it. But 100 years from now, if they x ray that painting, they're going <laughs> to see, you'll, you'll see that in there. You're going to see Cheryl's uh, bosom there. Uh, okay, <laughs> is that more information? <laughs> That's <then>? it. <laughs> True story. So that particular painting, at the top of it, where the dragster is, the, the K rail, the letters are kind of blurred for the speed on his helmet. You see the sparkle of the chrome. I know so much about that painting because it ended up at my house. The reason I ended up at my house, because I've had the pleasure of announcing NHRA for many years. I'd do events with Kenny. And Kenny calls me and he goes, hey, come by and pick up the painting. I need you to take it to the track because I'm going to Chicago for an event. So my response was, okay, well, 
helping Kenny, and then I got my little gerbil brain going on. I totally forgot. I'm announcing that weekend. So <laughs> Mary, right, she, she's like your wife from another yes, part of your yes. life, right? Uh, we love her dearly. She ends up having to take it to the tracks. So I'm on my cell phone with Mary, guiding her through security to get with the attorney. She was terrified something was going to happen driving oh, to the geez. track. But successfully, the, the painting went, went, and it was a huge hit. That's coming back to me. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mary goes, that's true what do you story. mean I'm delivering that painting? Just, well, that's Kenny's <laughs> art. And I said, no, I, th I think you'll be fine. Oh, yeah. We've been talking about your career and what, what you've went through it. And look, before we get to some of these end pictures, I, I know your mom was very important to you. Oh, yeah. I remember when you were just a young teenager, you're sitting at your kitchen table like sketching slingshots or yeah, something, right? Yeah, sitting there. And I, what, what did she say to well, you? Well, she right? walked by and, and she looked at what I was doing and she said, someday you'll get paid for doing that. <laughs> and uh, this 1965, <clears throat> I was 15 years old and at the time I thought, well, she's crazy. Who would ever pay somebody to draw dragsters? But a few years later, that's exactly what happened. And so mom not only was the best art teacher I could have ever had, but she saw a vision of, of where we were going. Wow. I can't thank her enough. Absolutely. So when we talk about you know people that's been influential and a lot of times how you know who's one of your mentors. So it sounds like your mom was a big influence on just where your career yeah, was. Yeah, she was as far as my art training. But uh, when I actually got into the business, a gentleman that uh, is not a household name, Bob Cashler, who was a promoter back mm -hmm. then, the word marketing hadn't been invented yet in <laughs> right. the early 70s, but Bob did uh, sponsorship proposals for people, and uh, I met him, and he, he put us into uh, my first studio, was in his wow. building, Racing Graphics, and the thing was that I knew all the racers, I was a fan, but they yeah. didn't know me. Well, Bob knew them, and he put my name out there and put my work out there, and, and really... Uh, gave me a start and was really uh, my mentor for for many years. Well, you, you've done him proud, brother. Thank you. So we got we got some other parts of facets of his life on the recognition side. Oh, this kind of makes Kenny cringe a little bit. You saw in our intro just wherever you're at, and I've been to SEMA. I mean, my, what was this year? Our twentieth year, or something. And wherever Kenny is, you recognize it because of the crowd around you. Can, so can you just talk real briefly? Sure. Just just what's the response from these people when you do these amazing oh, little they, renderings? They love for it. It's it's an idea that uh, Good Lord gave me years ago about doing uh, drawings, cartoon style drawings, yep. and then we uh, we have the client pick the design oh, yeah. they like, and then we personalize it. This one here, I, I could, is all I could do to keep the tears from my eyes. Yeah. This young man was in bad shape, but he wanted his drawing, and uh, so we personalize them, and it has the. Um, corporate uh, sponsors a name at the bottom mm -hmm. and um, it, it's just a huge hit I call it the ultimate marketing tool because ultimate people marketing. love them they take them home they keep them they hang them on their wall and it's got your corporate identity on it exactly Rick can you just back that picture up once is it possible if we can go back to that young man because I know especially young children that's something that's been very important to you throughout your career as well you can set aside oh, yeah. time and well I, I love the when the kids come up and want to draw. Yeah. I, yeah. I love interacting with them and i i guess their ages and i'm pretty good at it too. yes I you're pretty good about, at it i got about 80 <laughs> percent uh average on guessing their age what, so. look at you you're getting good at this so <laughs> i know that this one was very special to you we yeah, talked about it was it. A very touching moment good deal and i think we got some other awards for you know now so this I, you did a lot of work for firestone yeah i, I yeah. did uh, work with firestone uh and would do the uh, drawing giveaway for them at events and shows yep, yep. and then they would have me do retirement uh, gifts um or special <sighs> gifts this was a gift to the gentleman standing next to me who uh, was the top salesman for the year oh my goodness so we did a painting of uh the indy car and uh so for the viewers, if you think about this, so you know you're you're working for Firestone, your salesman have a great time, and you have a great year in the sales, and you get this. How inspired are you for the next year? I mean, that's that kind of builds to me beats getting a watch. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> yeah, saying. it's it's something something special. We do every year at the March meet drags in Bakersfield. We right. do a painting of the uh, defending top fuel champion nice. every year, and and the guys really uh, look forward to. To that, so very very cool, and I think we got a couple more. 
<laughs> yeah, we, everybody, you may recognize who's to Kenny's right in this photo. I think that's big. You know, Big Daddy, we call yeah. him big, right? Yeah. Don Garlitz. Big Daddy Don Garlitz. And um, we were, we were uh, out to dinner one night, and I get a, a phone call, and, and I, I told Terry, I says, it's Big Daddy. And he <laughs> says, but he wanted to induct me into the, uh, the Hall of Fame down yes. there in Florida. This was 2014. Yep. And uh, so we went down there for that, had a great time. And uh, I've always been, of course, a huge fan of, oh, of Big absolutely. Daddies. Who, yeah, who and, isn't? Uh, and yeah. to have him, he was the one personally that, uh, that wanted to induct me. So doesn't get any better than that. Doesn't get any better than that. So you think you're selling that Motorsports Hall of Fame with Larry Dixon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot. And of, a few others now. Oh, yeah. As well. <laughs> yeah, there's hundreds in that. Wow. So where do you where do you see some of the artists that are kind of young in their field? And what is there any suggestions, ideas you could give them as far as? I just sure could. Get great. Um, I mean, my, my overall... Uh, advice yeah. for young people is to follow your passion. Cool. Follow your passion. I don't care what it is or how mm -hmm. silly somebody might tell you it is. To follow your passion because uh, it'll it'll pay off. Because uh, cool. everyone can do something better than the average human being. It's something you enjoy cool. and it's something that you can turn into a, to a career. Excellent. And I think we've got some information we can pull up on pe how people can find you and get a hold of you as far as artwork. If you can step it through, step it through that as well, Kenny. Yeah, that's uh, just KennyYoungblood.com. It's my website. Perfect. Contact info on there, and then of course we have our our counseling ministry, Always an Answer .org. Always an answer. We'll be talking about that upcoming episodes as well, because that's very important to Kenny. It's another way for him to give back with some faith-based help. And who can't use a little bit of that? I know I can. Yeah. So all. before we get at her, because this, because I told Mary, I said, the hardest part of this is stopping the show. Because you know, <laughs> Kenny and I have sat together in the backyard drinking beer. He was our roommate house guest i guess be more house guest for the better part of the year which is an interesting experience all by itself but we got some great sketches from you over the years yeah. so what do you see coming up the next couple seasons for for the bloody the blood did it well you, it's you, just uh you know uh, life for me has been a it's never it doesn't repeat itself there's always <laughs> something new i never know who's gonna make that next phone call or what Perfect. we're gonna be involved with. And just like being on this show today, what an exciting moment when uh, I was invited to do this. So we'll just let it unfold and, and see what happens, but we're, we're still doing it. Cool. Well, Kenny, I'm Bud, we can't thank you enough to be on the show. I love you, brother, you know that. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we yeah we we got to we're gonna slow this one down this time because we could go to about four o'clock oh, in the Pacific yeah. Western I mean, we Southern time. <laughs> we just haven't even scratched the surface here, Mike. We barely touched. It. So that concludes this week's episode. I want to thank you so much. Do me a personal favor: like, subscribe, and share on our YouTube. Follow our social media. Check out what Kenny Youngblood's doing. Until next time, enjoy the ride. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.